Hello everyone. Can I make a soldering iron with my own hands? There is nothing complicated about this. On my channel, I have repeatedly shown different versions of homemade soldering irons. For example, a soldering iron made of a pencil. Infrared soldering iron from a car cigarette lighter. And even an instant heating soldering iron. Today I will show you another version of a homemade soldering iron, which I will make from a regular screwdriver. For example, this one. Also for the soldering iron, you will need a charger from your phone. Let's get started. To make a soldering iron from a screwdriver, you will need several parts. This, of course, is the same screwdriver, charger fiberglass cables and a piece of nichrom wire. Nichrom wire can be found, for example, in an electric furnace or a non-working hair dryer. If everything is available, you can start assembling the soldering iron. First of all, you need to measure out a suitable piece of nichrom wire. This is very easy to do. Turn on the charger in the network. We will need two wires, black and red. This is nutrition. Almost 5 volts. 4.7 volts. Now you need to choose a suitable piece of nichrome wire by trial and error. The wire should not be red. But it should be very hot to melt the tin. This segment heats up noticeably. I can't hold my hand anymore. But for a soldering iron, this will not be enough. Wow! That will be enough. You will get this piece of nichrome wire, the length of which is about 10 centimeters. And now you can start assembling the soldering iron. At first I wanted to use this screwdriver, but then I decided to replace it with another one with a longer rod. Since it would get very hot, this plastic part could melt. And that's not going to happen with this screwdriver. First of all, I will process the edge of the screwdriver so that it looks like a soldering iron rod. As a result, the rod became like this. Now you need to put a fiberglass camber on the edge of the rod. After that, we wind the nichrome wire on the camber. Well, the most important part of the soldering iron is ready. It remains only to connect it to the charger from the phone. To do this, I will use this copper wire in insulation. At the edge of the wire, the insulation must be removed. Because it will simply melt. Instead, I'll wear fiberglass cambric.
At the end of the work, I will rewind the handle with electrical tape so that these wires do not interfere. Well, that's it. A homemade soldering iron from a screwdriver is ready. Now I'll plug it into the charger and see what it can do. Important point. For the soldering iron to work well, the charger must produce at least 1.5 amps. Many chargers have a current of 1 ampere. This may not be enough for the soldering iron to warm up to the desired temperature. Therefore, the charger should give 1.5 amps. By the way, you can use a variety of chargers. Not only for 5 volts, but also for 10 volts or 12 volts. In this case, you just need to choose the appropriate length of nichrome wire for the heating element. So, we turn it on and see what happens. The process has started, the varnish burns out from fiberglass. As you can see, the soldering iron works great. The only problem is that the rod doesn't get tinned. But this is easy to fix. It is enough to take a little soldering acid and drop it onto the tip of the soldering iron. As a result, the tip was well tinned and now you can try to solder several radio components with this soldering iron. As you can see, this soldering iron solders wonderfully. Let's try using it to solder the parts back. This concludes the video. If you liked it, if you liked this idea of a homemade soldering iron, then put a like and tell your friends about this video. It will be very cool if you subscribe to the Invex Lab channel. Also click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be sure to receive notifications from my channel.
I thank you for watching and bye. Hello everyone can I make a soldering iron with my own hands? Interesting question. A soldering iron made of a pencil. The soldering... A soldering iron made of pencil. And also... Oh, I've already done so many soldering irons.